I've been coming here for almost 15 years, and for that long, car manufacturers have always brought their latest models to come here and put it in front of everybody. But you know what's increasingly interesting to me is the tech that's coming. And I thought I'd focus in on Polestar, which is a true subsidiary of Volvo. They're paying attention to design, and that's what this is all about, is why design strikes you. It's very personal. There's so many objects, jewelry, watches that are made for other people to look at. They've got diamond encrusted stuff and they're gold and they say, notice me. Whereas this is subtle. It's a watch brand you might not have heard of necessarily, but you're intrigued by it because of specific details. And so you move closer and you start to find out you get it all. You get supercharging, you get turbocharging, and you get a dual motor rear axle. Two electric motors in the rear, which is a first for Volvo, by the way. You get that for a combined total of 600 horsepower, which means they're enthusiasts too. I wanted to call it proof of concept, but that isn't specific and focused enough. It's Polestar is a proof of industrialization, which is a de-risking term to say, we're making this happen to syndicate to future models and future Volvo models. But then also think about just the technology alone and what they're doing with everything. The second point is all about technology and Polestar as a technology spearhead for the brand and for the entire company. So you think, all right, I've got a hybrid car here, which Polestar has said you could subscribe to. But the message was diluted and filtered and it wasn't correct because you can buy this car outright. But this is a car that is special, just like I was talking about watches and you know how much I love watches, but things that are subtle and people notice and they kind of move in and think, what is that? What am I missing out on? And it's a car you're gonna wanna keep for a long time. So relating to design, think about this. Subtle styling, yet muscular, but it's got to incorporate the Volvo history, but still be a different brand and be elegant to match the price point, but still say it's a future tech car too. That's a tall order for a design brief for designers, but I think they've pulled it off brilliantly and it turns my head every time I see this car in the news, wherever it is. So we're not getting to drive them today, but we do plan on getting in this car at some point. But look at some of the specific design details around the doors, that proud flare around the rocker at the bottom of the door there, the overall proportion. I mean, this kind of starts out looking like a muscle car and then you move in. It's like a painting, a one, two, three read. First the painting, and then you move in for the second read, and then you move in for the details. That is Polestar to me. There's two more models coming, the Polestar 2 and the Polestar 3, which they expect will be more subscribed to rather than this. But as the first, the Polestar 1, as the first model of the brand here, this is going to be the one you want to keep forever. You've got to walk with me around the car and look at the specific details in the trunk. They've actually put, you know, kind of reminded you, here's the batteries, look at this thing in the back. And then around the cabin, just above the headliner here, they've got a star that's reflected into the glass to say, follow the star. It's brilliant. I'm really an enthusiast of this car, and what I like is seeing these cars in the future as they build them about 500 models per year for the next three years or so, but as they come out and they're maybe available to more enthusiasts, I think they're doing it great because how many other car companies can you think of that have this opportunity to create a subsidiary, a sub-brand, and it's not really an experimentation, but they, they're planning carefully, but they've got the, the backing and the industrialization of the company to be able to push on the technology. That's pretty special. I was talking to you about production before, and it's starting in the middle of 2019. I say it can't come soon enough. I'm in love with this car. And again, it comes from the design perspective because you've got to appreciate the interior details of this car, but also the materials that they use. And material choice is so important for designers, not only to understand the production processes, but then how can they use them in the construction of a car and get it so beautifully done. The car itself is carbon fiber. Every panel, well, except for the bumper, is urethane, of course, but it's carbon fiber panels bonded to a steel frame, and then they even made it even more structurally resistant. I mean, this thing is incredible. And then they've shoved two electric motors and a two liter supercharged and turbocharged engine, as I mentioned before, 600 horsepower, and it's a personal item. So I was telling you before, the star that's reflected out of this panel up here, and it's reflected onto the glass ceiling, so you can see it at night, little details like that, along with, of course, the entire instrument panel. 
it's this is not something we normally do is just sit and talk in cars that are not moving. I realize that. I get that. We want to see this in motion, but just sitting, it gives you a certain feeling just like all the cars here at Pebble Beach. When this car goes into production and it can't come soon enough, I say it fits right in with the beauty, the, the sculpture that is everywhere on the lawns out here. I love the muscularity, I love what it says, and I love that it intrigues me so much. We'll be driving it soon enough, but for now, signing off. If you want to see more, go to polestar.com.